We want to show that it's possible to conduct multiple different types of missions um, over a long distance where typically a small drone uh, simply doesn't have the legs to make it that far. So what we're going to demonstrate is actually carrying it with another uh, larger platform that can then drop uh, the small uh, mission drone right near the target area. Well, in a lot of cases we have, um, say in a, an emergency response situation, there will be an event or a situation that we want to get a small drone uh, to, but the people can't get there. So it's too dangerous for the people to get there. And the little drone might not have enough range to actually fly all the way there. So we want to have a larger system carry the little guy in and have the mission get accomplished that way. So it's harder than it, than it sounds, so we're out here trying to make sure we can get it all to work right. Uh, we have a little release mechanism that's supposed to let go of the small UAV that then starts free falling. And it's falling straight toward the ground. Um, it has to tell that it's falling and suddenly realize it needs to turn on the propellers and start trying to fly. And that has to happen very quickly. It went back to the days of the, of the Fukushima reactor disaster in Japan where we could see a need to be able to make measurements but not be able to uh, necessarily get people close enough to do it. Big key to the success of an SDRD project is having a team with a lot of different skill sets. So we have not only uh, scientists but engineers and, and pilots. So it's a, it's a real team effort overall.